Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies Case Breaks.com coming at you with 2022 Tops Pristine Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number three. Brand new release, just uh, just came out yesterday. I don't know why this says February 2022, but all card ship. A lot of fun stuff in here. A bit of a challenge to open, so I appreciate your patience. But we've been pulling some really nice hits out of here, so. So thanks everyone for getting in on it on a Thursday. Big thanks to Gary, Double Last Spot Mojo, Marlins, and Giants. And there's the rest of the teams right there. Thanks everybody. Jonathan, I, I actually did double check. We do not have any more uh, pristine. So I think Personal Breaks sold out of their, their run. Where's my knife? Sold out of their run uh, yesterday. I don't know where my knife is. Oh, there it is. I don't know how it ended up over there. But yeah, it's personal breaks on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks, sold out yesterday. And this is our last full case for, uh, for group breaks. So that is it. But. I don't know. This seems to sell relatively briskly on the website, so maybe maybe we'll get some more. It might not be at the same price. It's sort of an awkward and heavy box here. Maybe not at the same price, but um, but maybe we might get some more. So keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right. All right, so Rex was saying he saw Corey Seager is going to, so is, is the full, Corey Seager is going to be the last participant in the Home Run Derby. Is the full list out now then? And then Jose Ramirez and Julio Rodriguez was added before he was. So yeah, Pete Alonzo, Ronald Acuna Jr., Kyle Schorber, Pujols is in it. Got who else is who else is in here? Yeah, it's a little it's a, it's a little extra. He's packed. Corey Seager is going to face Julio Rodriguez. We got Jose Ramirez facing Juan Soto, I think. So should be should be uh, should be a fun fun competition. It'd be pretty awesome if Acuna. Or check that if if uh, if Pete Alonso won a won his third in a row, that would be pretty awesome. I would just hang it up after that. If I'm Pete Alonso, I'm just like I have nothing left to prove, you know. Ooh, there you go, Gilo. Nice. Good luck, man. I hope your efforts are rewarded.
Gilo expanding the budget a little bit. Going with a full spot in the hip parade. I love it. Ooh, a little rain in Vegas, nice. Oh, it depends on the job you haven't interviewed for yet. And yet to pay you for, but hey, I like that you're optimistic. A little, little potential new job celebration mojo. Agent sues Fox host for libel over Freddie Freeman claim. Uh-oh, that's Doug Gottlieb, I think. Oh, this drama continues, according to Jeff Passan. Agent Casey Close and Fox Sports Radio host Doug Gottlieb, or sued Fox Sports Radio host Doug Gottlieb for libel Thursday, alleging that Gottlieb falsely and recklessly defamed Close and Excel Sports Management in a tweet that claimed they had not presented a contract offer to first star to, to star first base with Freddie Freeman during free agency. Interesting. I'll read more of that story after after the break, or after this box. Good luck. So again, all cards ship. I like these uh, pristine borders cards. I think those look pretty sharp. Could be nice to nice to have when the World Baseball Classic rolls around next spring. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I want to say, was Pristine around back in the day? It was Gio Urshela. Uh, jersey and autograph. For the Yankees, that's going to go to Chris Butler. Was this an old set that they revived? Or is Pristine a brand new brand? New brand? There's Joe Ryan to 99. Eloy Jimenez to 99. All right, and your in case card. There you go. Sam says Pristine was in the mid 2000, 2003, says Jonathan. <clears throat> we brought it back. Juan Soto. Uh, for the Nats, Patrick Davis, Carson Kelly, Di Diamond, but we didn't sell the Diamondbacks. We're giving them away. So someone's going to get all the Diamondbacks hit in one lot at the end of the break. Jaron Duran Duran, nice autograph here for the Red Sox. Jonathan. Luis Gill, another Yankees autograph for Chris Butler. Mark McGuire, 39 out of 50. And Michael Conforto, 65 out of 75. The Big Mac goes to uh, Richard G. and the Cardinals. Michael Conforto goes to Taylor and the Mets. All right, well, obviously this is going to be a long break, so we'll do a recap at the end. Mark Rao, what's going on? How's it going? It's been going great. You've been watching a lot of other breakers. And we're still the best. I appreciate that. Mark tried the rest, hanging out with the best. Thank you. Yeah, Jonathan, nice hit. Mark remembers uh, NBA and NFL prestige. Still has some of those old case cards. When's Triple Thread traditionally comes out in the fall? I feel like that's like a September, October-ish release. Thank you, Jonathan, yeah. I'd, I'd like to think so. I think, <clears throat> especially in recent years, where a lot of where a lot of uh, new breakers have emerged, 
You gotta, gotta be careful sometimes who you do business with. Going back to that lawsuit, the lawsuit details, this is the Freddie Freeman lawsuit. Uh, I guess they're, fire, they're, they're suing Doug Gottlieb, who first announced that, hey, Freddie Freeman, their agency never, pre never presented the Braves an offer. That'll be interesting to see how that works out. Lawsuit details close to negotiations with the Braves, blah, 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 blah. On June 29th, Gottlieb tweeted, to get these cards out first. Gottlieb tweeted that Casey Close never told Freddie Freeman about a Braves final offer. That is why Freddie Freeman fired him. An allegation the complaint says is false and has prompted death threats to Close and tens of million dollars in damages to Close and Excel Sportsman. Don't send death threats. Come on, guys. That's not good. In a statement, Close said, although we gave Mr. Gottlieb an opportunity to retract his false statement, he failed to do so. The complaint sets the record straight as to what occurred during the negotiations with the Atlanta Braves. Wow. So we'll see. How, we'll see how that. We'll see how that case. See how that case. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's a little schoolyard, yeah. It's a little schoolyard fight. I mean, I, I could see where the management, where the uh, where the management companies uh, would would feel defamed. And I can see where Doug Gottlieb, he's like, hey, as as a as a host journalist, you know, I'm sticking by my my story, my guns. Yeah, the little rings around the the cards. That that seems to be the difficult part. Adam. And the packaging is not, not not as clean as some of the others we've seen in Topps products. Do you have to some other Topps packaging is a lot smoother, but not, not in pristine. It's not pristine, ironically. Nice Jordan Alvarez. Well, he's having a great season. Jersey and autograph for the Strohs. Bobby with Houston. Twelve out of ninety-nine. Out of twenty-five, Yanni Hernandez and Mike Zunino. Fifty-three out of ninety-nine. All right, you're in case cards. Paul Goldschmidt, 48 out of 50. That is for the Cardinals. That'll be for Richard. Taylor McGill, Mets. Taylor for uh, Tyler. I think it's actually Tyler, right? Tyler for Taylor Clark, who's got the Mets. We've got Jesse Winker, 20 out of 50. Still Cincinnati edition. On that, that'll go to Barry. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 74 out of 75. Toronto, David, with the Blue Jays. Aaron Nola, Sean. Uh, Sean Gola, with Aaron Nola, rhymes. Phillies. And then we got O'Neill Cruz. Nice O'Neill Cruz here for the Pirates. That's going to go to Scott. Oh, I don't mind the packaging. If they change it, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine too.
All right, looks like just one left in that hit parade too. We'll do that after uh, after the break and the break. Now, what I would like for them to change is the quality of the packaging, though. That that's definitely I don't mind the configuration, but I can improve the quality a little bit. DeGrom apparently throws four innings has and strikes out four in a rehab start. I guess Shane Boz, elbow, becomes Ray's 17th player on the I.L. Man. Yeah, Severino got, got banged around a little bit. He's on the I.L. too. I know, I, I guess that's what it was. They're just like, guys like Joe Jaspi making group breaks look too easy. Let's, uh, let's, let's throw him a challenge. Challenge accepted, Tops. I love it. I want more packs next year. More packs inside packs. Red Sox expecting Eovaldi and Whitlock back on Friday. Oh, so Springer, George Springer's out of the All-Star game. AL adds Corey Seager. Right. Got Dodgers Cardinals on the background. Dodgers up 2-0. Top of the six. Well, the runner on second. Two outs. Let's see what Justin Turner can do. <coughs> All right, good luck, everybody. All right, all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. Behind Luis Gill is a red Kirby Puckett. Two out of five. Chris Butler has the twins out of fives and under. Gets the world famous train whistle, Chris. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Classic. Purple Bryce Harper to 99 for the Phillies. It's Sean. And a Freddie Freeman. Speaking of Freddie Freeman, still Braves edition here. Piece of a star jersey and on card autograph. That's Gary with the Braves. There you go, Gary. Four out of 50. All right. We got an Aaron Judge for Chris Butler and the Yankees. Four out of 75. Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. Nestor. Vlad Guerrero Jr. David in Toronto. These cards do look really sharp. I dig it. Tyler Glass now for the Rays. Edward, Tampa Bay. Nice auto. Another auto. That's Max Kranick, rookie autograph for the Pirates. Scott. And the last one here is Spencer Watkins. 45 out of 50. Uh, Nestor and the Orioles. All right. Onwards.
Yeah, Orioles have been playing some really good baseball. They have they have won ten in a row. They are and they are a game above five hundred. That's pretty impressive. Does that make the AL East the best division in baseball? I think so. Every single team in the AL East are above five hundred. Last few opponents a little questionable, but hey, you got it. You got to beat the beat the teams that are in front of you. Those W's count count the same by the end of the day. At the end of the day. Mariners too. Mariners have been playing some hot baseball. They they have also won ten in a row. Oh, nice, Adam. Your uh, your your Cleveland trip is happening soon. Driving tomorrow morning on the road for eight hours. No, who do who do I have? I mean, I was I was born in that neck of the woods, so I suppose I'll root for Cleveland. Yeah, I hear that ballpark is still. I remember when that that first opened in like the '90s, right? It was a good-looking ballpark, and people still say it's it's a good-looking ballpark. Um, all right, so the Mariners' 10-game winning streak in danger. Bottom of the second, they're already down 4 nothing to the Rangers. And are the Orioles playing? Orioles are off today. Oh, right, it's Thursday. It's, uh, it's um, Thursday. It's a travel day for a lot of teams. My life story... We, we do we do not have enough time enough hours in the day for that but when the Joe's life story podcast comes out I'm sure it'll be I'm sure it'll be an instant winner it'll be on top of the charts No, I love it, David. This is, a, this is an excellent product to break. I wish there was more for us to, to, to rip open. There's Hyunjin Roo, jersey and autograph. It's a rough product to break for, for weak breakers, David. For strong breakers, Breeze. There's Chase McCormick to 50. Nick Castellanos to 99. My, my guy right here, Walker Bueller, 44 out of 50. Get well soon, Walker. Cedric Mullins to 99. Vidal Bruhan. Um, Edward, 
and the Rays. Dylan Carlson. Nice Dylan Carlson for Richard and the Redbirds. Edgar Martinez for the Mariners. Taylor, 19 out of 50 on that Edgar Martinez. Salvador Perez, 31 out of 75 for the Royals. That'll go to Patrick, Kansas City. Jazz Chisholm. Gary with the Marlins. Nice, last ball mojo. And we've got Teoscar Hernandez for the Astros. Astros? Blue Jays. All right, uh, we are halfway through. We've got another, got another 25, <clears throat> 30 minutes to go. Good luck, everybody. What about the middle breakers? The ones who are good and bad? There are no good and bad breakers. You're either good or you're not. You're either first or you're last. A synopsis, Jonathan? I was, I was born in Ohio. My parents moved us to uh, move me. I didn't. I didn't have a choice in it. I was born in Warren, Ohio, which is right next to Youngstown, Ohio. We moved to Southern California. And here I am. Went to school at UC San Diego. Got myself a degree that would not help me later on in life. Political science with a. Uh, with an emphasis on Middle Eastern studies. And, uh, and here I am, <laughs> breaking the Jaspies. I suppose in retrospect, maybe growing up in in Southern California was probably a little bit of a nicer experience than Northeast Ohio. Yeah, and then I would I probably would have been I probably would I I guess I would have gone Cleveland. I don't know what the fan fandom is out in that area because Pittsburgh's so close by as well. My guess it would be I guess I would still grow up Cleveland sports right in that neck of the woods. But I would I would have been probably would have been a Cleveland Cleveland Indian slash Guardians fan, Cleveland Browns fan, Cavs fan. Kinda of would have been sad times. My whole world view would be different. A lot of people are Steelers fans in Cleveland. Yeah, there it's I always forget how close Pittsburgh is to to right, right, almost right near the border of PA and and Ohio. I suppose after a lot of, lot of years of struggle for the Cleveland Browns, there may, may have been some defectors to Pittsburgh, right? All right, next box, onwards. No, I guess it's not surprising to have those defectors. Ooh, Jeff McNeil, jersey and autograph. Piece of a star. Jersey and auto. You can hang a star on that one. Old, uh, long RIP, but his old uh, Padres announcer, Jerry Coleman, I think. That was his sort of catchphrase. Or at least that's where I originally heard it from. Um, Taylor with the Mets, with the Metropolitans, nice. Got Tim Anderson to 99. 
For the White Sox, Fergie Jenkins, 15 out of 25 for the Cubbies. White Sox, Kevin M., Gary with the Cubs, Max Kepler, gold to 50 for Chris. Wilson Contreras, uh, Cubs, Gary, nice auto. Eloy Jimenez, Kevin, White Sox, 29 out of 50. Another nice one here. Willie Ademis for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Nestor. Chipper Jones, Braves, that'll be for Gary. Chip off the old block. Austin Meadows, 9 out of 25. Tampa Bay, Edward. And we've got, yeah, it's Carl Yastrzemski, 7 out of 75. That's for Jonathan and the Red Sox. All right, three more boxes to go. David saying, when the Browns left, your brother became a Jaguars fan. Now he's back to being a diehard Browns fan. Yeah, hopefully the Browns can see, can see a little success there. There you go, Jonathan loves that Yaz. Yes. That's a nice one. Classic. going on in the baseball world here. Rockies <clears throat> beat the Padres 8-5. to five. In extras, the Marlins beat the Pirates 3-2. to two. Marlins walk it off for the second straight game. And it was a Rockies rally in the sixth that ended up taking down, taking down the Padres. Um, what other games are in progress here? Top of the eighth in... Our nation's capital, Braves are up 5-2 on the Nats. Reds and Yankees are tied 1-1. Reds have been playing the Yankees pretty, pretty tough. Pretty close, too close for comfort. The kids are playing for uh, Kansas City in the bottom of the seventh. Their Kansas City Royals are up 2-1. Missing a lot of regulars in their trip to Canada. Red Sox at Rays. Boston's up 3-1 in the top of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh, Guardians are up 3-0 on the Tigers. We've got the Dodgers game on. They're still leading 2-0 in the seventh. They've got Bellinger up to bat. Let's go, Belly. They're actually still in New York, so he's he's not back, not technically back in Cincinnati. Facing his old team, though. Um, White Sox leading the Twins 6-1, top of the fourth. Mets leading 4-0. Leading the Cubs 4-0 in Chicago, middle of the fourth. Top of the third, Rangers still leading the Mariners 4-0. Mariners 10-game winning streak on the line. The... Uh, Going into the fourth inning, Astros leading the Angels 2-1. And uh, <clears throat> the late game tonight will be Brewers at Giants. Good luck, good looking card too. Ooh, Gavin Lux going yard. Two run shot. Yeah, Gavin Lux starting to 
Starting to push for a little power lately. Spencer Watkins to 99. Justin Verland, a little color match there for Bobby and the Astros to 25. And we got Brandon Crawford for my rivals, the Giants. That's another last spot mojo hit for Gary. Jersey and autograph. Nice. Good job, Gavin Lux. There's Justin Turner for the Dodgers. Three out of 75. That will be for John. Robin Yount for the Brew Crew. Nestor. Jesse Winker. This is still Red's edition. This is going to be for Barry and the Red Legs. A Videl Brujan autograph for Edward and the Rays. That's to 99. Let's try to find his teammate in here somewhere, huh? Jose Altuve, Astros. That's going to be for Bobby and the Strohs. And we've got Ahmed Rosario, 31 out of 50. Uh, for the Guardians, that's going to be for Michael from Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. I did not see the White Sox throw one pitch, which was a strike, and then intentionally walk the guy. Maybe they had the numbers. Maybe they're like this hitter, 0-1-1 in the count, hit 700 or something like that. And they're like, we'll just walk him. All right, all right, all right, all right. So what's going to happen in the trade by the trade deadline, ladies and gentlemen? Yankees unlikely to continue their pursuit of Andrew Benintendi, apparently. Rockies apparently uh, unlikely to be major deadline sellers. Royals got Drew Waters from the Braves for a draft pick. Yeah, Wander Franco missing five to eight weeks. I don't like to see that. I think that, that news was a couple days ago, but. Pirates apparently have rejected recent offers for guys like Reynolds and Bednar. Interesting. A lot of people thought that, that they'd trade Bednar for sure. He's been closing out games pretty well for for the Pirates. A lot of playoff teams that could use an elite reliever. Anyone have any thoughts on Charlie Montoyo being fired? I, he just signed an extension too. The Blue Jays manager, former Blue Jays manager. I feel like he signed an extension in the spring and then... Then bang, he gets fired. They still have to, I think they still have to pay him like the next three years of his deal or something like that. Which seems, I don't know. I know I know the Blue Jays had expected more, but have a great room, yeah. not enough. All right, hey, thank you, Evan. Have a good one. Hey, your food's on. Hey, not a break room, but a table. The, the table, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense, thank you. Yeah, Benny Baseball would be a good fit on, but apparently they don't think they need him. Let's click this article here on MLBTradeRumors.com. Uh, Royals after the Ranger Ben Tennis was the target of both the Blue Jays and the Yankees, blah, 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 blah. But John Heyman of the New York Post now reports the Yankees are unlikely to further pursue the outfielder. I think, I think Aaron Hicks has started to start to turn things around recently so maybe that's why they're they're like we don't we don't need the similar players I guess Joey Gallo has not been playing well maybe they'll move Joey Gallo A 
thought that might have been a different parallel. No, nah, it's fine, Adam. This is, this is entertaining. Love opening these packs. Ooh, what's this? Ooh! Popular demand, Juan Soto on a heavier card stock, too. Jersey and on-card auto, Patrick Davis. Two out of 15, nice low number. Yeah, I don't mind the packs when we're pulling stuff like this. The harder the squeeze, the sweeter the juice, ladies and gentlemen. There's Justin Turner to 99. Matt Manning for the Tigers to 50. That'll be for Thomas. All right. Drew, I was wait I've been waiting for you. There's Tim Anderson, White Sox. Kevin. But yeah, that Pete Alonso was nice. Um, we got the Leaf stuff today. I emailed you. There's Josiah Gray. He's having a nice... I think he had a rough start yesterday, but overall having a nice season. Patrick Davis with that one. Teoscar Hernandez, Blue Jays. That'll be for David. Barry Larkin. 4 out of 75. Barry going to Barry. Barry Roberts getting the Barry Larkin. There's Liam Hendricks. White Sox, Kevin. And Jackie Robinson, nice. Number 42 himself. This goes to John. He's got my Dodgers. Final box coming up. We made it. What else is happening here? Not not too much. I mean, this could be the calm before the storm. Yeah, I was I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you, Drew. Uh, we're gonna open it. Uh, actually, I'll do that. I'll do that right after this. I was hoping that Tim would be around too. I, I messaged him too, or I emailed him too earlier today, but. He has not responded, but since I have at least you, I was going to record it anyway, but it'll be five minutes. I'm going to do that before I take my dinner break. I was kind of hoping, but you guys might have different schedules. You might, might not be around at the same time. Maybe I'll do it after my dinner break, Drew. Do you, if, if you don't mind, maybe give it give it another. Because after I'm done with this break, I'm going to take a quick little break, and maybe in the next. Because I think he's in Arizona, so if he's maybe maybe he's just getting off work, making his way home. So maybe by the time I finish my break, he might be around. If not, I'll just I'll just run the randomizer. He can watch the. Uh, I'll record it so there'll be a video of the randomizer. So we'll give it a little extra time, if you don't mind. But yeah, I haven't even opened this box. So I don't know what it is. So and I got I got um. I got news on why there was a delay. I think the, uh, I think the, we were in contact directly with, um, I think the the head of of Leaf. Yeah, old Brian Gray, CEO of Leaf. 
trading cards. So, uh, <laughs> he was on vacay. <laughs> he had messages back. He's like, yeah, we'll, we'll send you the stuff. But, uh, but yeah, he was on vacay, so he couldn't get around to, to actually physically doing it until, until, uh, recently. But better late than never, so we appreciate, appreciate that, Lee, and Mr. Gray. So we'll find out what's inside. All right, final box. Good luck. There you go. Out of 50, Adrian Beltre, Nestor in the Rangers. See what's over there. Got a Joey Gallo, Rangers edition, 34 out of 50. And an Andrew Jones, nice. He's got some nice penmanship. Braves edition, going to Gary in the ATL. Eighty-two out of ninety-nine. Out of ninety-nine, Yohan Moncada. And you're in case cards. Yeah, I hope so too, Drew. We'll find out. Freddie Freeman. Uh, still Braves edition here. That'll be for Gary. Got Anthony Rizzo. Uh, Nineteen out of twenty-five. Yankees edition going to Chris Butler. Mark Connor, that should be out of five. It is three out of five. Nestor with the A's. Nestor, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Out of five and under, get the world famous. Cal Raleigh, that is for the M's. Taylor with the Mariners. Nice autographs. I think he's having a nice season. We've got another catcher. Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez, popular demand autograph, 6 out of 50, Marlins edition, Gary for the Marlins. And last but not least is Ichiro, Mariners edition of Ichiro, 10 out of 25, another M for Taylor. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, what a nice break. Let's randomize that Arizona Diamondback card to somebody. Let's flip back over here. We didn't sell the Diamondbacks. Let's gather everybody's names. The name on top will get that Diamondbacks card after 10 times, and then I'll do a recap. Five into five, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10, it'll be Bobby. Bobby, you'll get that extra Diamondbacks card. So that Carson Kelly. Goes to you. And the recap. Keep your eye on the website for more pristine. This has been some really nice stuff. We have not, we have yet to see, I don't know if personal breaks may be pulled, uh, but we have not seen the, any of the multi autos. So hopefully we'll be, if we get another case of this, maybe we'll, we'll find a multi auto in the next case, so keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm a fan of it. Some train whistles, some old school guys, new school guys, current stars. I think it's a, this has been a nice, a nice release. Glad they brought the pristine line back. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Kirby Puckett out of five. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.